tell us about Nahar mission topological phases? Uh, thank you very much for introduction. And uh, first of all, I'd like to thank the organizer uh, for inviting me to this uh, very wonderful workshop. And actually, this is uh, my first trip to India, and uh, I very enjoyed uh, this nice atmosphere, and also I enjoyed nice, uh, nice weather. And I also enjoyed the nice talks in this uh, workshop. And uh, uh, my name is Masa Sato uh, from Yukawa Institute for Theoretical Physics, uh, Kyoto University. And uh, today I'm going to tell you about uh, uh, our works on uh, no harm shantopolical phase. And uh, this talk is based on, uh, on these uh, rather old papers. I wrote this paper in uh, more than uh, six years ago. Um, but uh, uh, this is uh, one of the very first paper uh, discussing the uh, topological phases in non-Hamishan uh, systems. So I'd like to explain the, uh, some detail of, of these works. And uh, I also like to try to add uh, uh, something new. And uh, uh, they are the collaborators. And uh, uh, this, pro this paper uh, was written uh, when I belonged to the ISSP, uh, University of Tokyo. And uh, this first person, uh, Kenta Isaki, uh, was my former student uh, when I belonged to the ISSP. And uh, uh, Kazuki Asebe, he is uh, he is a uh, friend of mine, and uh, he often visited uh, ISSP. And uh, I also discussed with uh, Mahito Komoto, and uh, he is my uh, former boss when I belonged to the ISSP. So uh, here is a how to my talk. I I may explain uh, this uh, second paper. So uh, here is how to my talk. And uh, first, I'd like to explain the, uh, why we consider uh, no harm and topological phase. Actually, the, uh, by considering the uh, non-harm shunt topological phases, uh, we may have a new topological uh, non-harm shunt uh, phase, uh, non-harm shunt uh, uh, Hamiltonians. Uh, we may have a uh, uh, new topological phases. Then I'd like to explain the uh, basic symmetry in non-harm shunt systems. And actually, the, if you consider the non-harm shunt systems, uh, we can have uh, new kinds of uh, symmetries. And uh, finally, I'd like to explain the, uh, our example on the uh, topological phases interesting to the non hamshan uh, systems. And uh, first, I'd like to explain the, uh, what is a topological phase. <coughs> the definition of the topological phase is very simple. It is characterized by the presence of the uh, non zero back topology number of uh, occupied state was a uh, gap to Hamiltonians. And uh, here I show the uh, schematic picture showing the difference between the uh, topological, uh, topological insulators and uh, ordinary insulators. Uh, basically, we consider the uh, insulating states, so we have a fully gapped band, a fully occupied band. And uh, in the case of the uh, ordinary insulators, we found that Electron occupied uh, uh, this band, topological trivial manner. So we, f we found that uh, so the topology number of the system become, become zero. On the other hand, in the case of uh, topological insulators, we find that electron occupies uh, uh, this band, topological trivial manner, non trivial manner, like this band. So we can find that uh, the topology number become non zero. So by using this topological number, uh, we can distinguish this topological insulators uh, from ordinary insulators. So, you're, you're not thinking about simple systems with discrete states. You're thinking about crystals which have band structure, yes? Yeah. So yes. describe, what do you mean by bulk top number? What does that mean? It's an integer, right? 
So it, it implies that the, so the, so we are considering the uh, extended system with, without the boundary. So we, 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 so the, so the we need some uh, momentum to define the topology number. Mm -hmm. So th this is a, uh, this, so from this definition, we, we say that uh, this system has the bulk topology number. So the topology number is defined in the bulk systems. In? In bulk systems without the boundary. And in bulk periodic. So you're talking uh, not, about a, not about a discrete set of states and not about disordered states. You're talking in the context of crystals. Yes? Yeah, yeah. Periodic potentials. Yeah, yeah. Yes? Yes. Okay, just to locate what you're doing in the big general picture. Okay. And uh, this is very simple definition. And uh, however, uh, this idea of the topological phases has been successfully established uh, with many experimental support. Indeed, uh, uh, this non to be a topology st topological structures uh, can be detected experimentally at the existence of the uh, gapless surface state. And here I consider the um, interface between the topological phases, or topological phase, and the vacuum. As I mentioned before, uh, this topological phase have a bulk non zero topological numbers. numbers. On the other hand, uh, vacuum has a trivial topological number. So at the interface between them, uh, we, f we, we, found, uh, uh, we find a uh, mismatch of the topological number. So for, to for this topological number uh, uh, to change suddenly at the interface, or we need some singularity of the spectrum. Actually, the, uh, we can find that in this, in this case, uh, we always have a gapless surface state. And this surface state is, <laughs> uh, this surface state originates from the mismatch between, mismatch of the topological number. So we can say that uh, material in topological phases have a gapless boundary state, ensured by the bulk topological numbers. And uh, this important property is called uh, the bulk boundary correspondence. So by using uh, this uh, correspondence, we can <coughs> confirm the presence of the uh, topological phase, topological phase uh, by detecting the gapless surface state. So by using this, uh, this mechanism, uh, we, can, we can detect the experimentary uh, topological phase. Uh, at the boundaries, uh, we have a gapless surface state. So the actual, actual, actual state is inside the, inside the topological phases, but uh, this is located very near the uh, boundary. So inside the topological phase, so as you mentioned. Yeah, in the topological phase. So there, there is no state in the vacuum. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah, go through the phase. So, the, but just near the boundary. So, just near the, this boundary. So, so this gapless state is well localized at the boundary. Now, sorry, I'm going to ask another question. This is for people like me who are not familiar with this area of application. The word phase has two meanings. Of course, it has the meaning of a state of matter, liquid, yeah, crystal, yeah. gas, tolerable. and it also has the meaning of a phase of a fu wave function in quantum yeah. mechanics. Now, in this, in your description, somehow these are both connected because when you show the picture of the cat, which yeah, you yeah. did not discuss, the turning over of the cat is related to the quantum nature of phase, yeah, yeah. whereas you're describing states of matter, which are related to that definition of phase. So, can you clarify when you? write this quantity number of something, which sense of the word phase you are meaning and how they're connected? Uh, so, I don't have a definite answer. Yeah, yeah. But uh, so, the, it really depends on the asymmetry of the system. And actually, the, in general cases, uh, we, we, can ha we, we, we may have some direct connection between the topology number and the phase of the wave functions. But by assuming the uh, symmetry, 
we can define the uh, other types of the topology number. Actually, the, by just counting the, for example, by, by just counting the number of the occupied state, we can introduce a new topological number. And actually, the, so the, for example, the uh, frame surfaces in the normal metal also have a such kind of a, a topological number. Uh, that topology must stabilize the uh, frame surfaces in the, in the metals. of this uh, case for the topological case, sir, you will find the Kirak equation of the solitonic solution. But for this in the ordinary normal insulator, you may also express in certain limit Kirak equation, but there is no solitonic solution. That is the difference of the over function at this level, as, as, as I am understanding. And actually, the, in the case of the topological insulators, uh, by using the angle reserve with the photo emission spectroscopy, uh, we can uh, we can find the uh, presence of the uh, surface state. Uh, this is the RPS data for the uh, Bismuth to Serenus read, and uh, this dark, dark area uh, corresponds to the uh, conduction band and the balance band. And uh, between them, we, we find the uh, surface uh, drug permeable. And this is evidence of the topological uh, insulator of, of these materials. And uh, we can also consider the uh, superconducting analog of, uh, of topological insulators. Actually, the recently we also recognized that uh, even for SP superconducting state, we can realize the topological superconductors if you take into account the Lashiba spin of intercoupling and the Zeman fields. Uh, here I saw the uh, normal dispersion of the electrons in the absence of the Zeeman fields. Because of the Rashiba spin of the interactions, we have uh, uh, spin splitted band structures. So we have a uh, spin splitted frame surfaces in this parameter region. However, if you apply the Zeeman field, we have a gap at this point. And uh, in this parameter region, we have a non spin degenerate uh, single frame surface. And uh, we find that if the SP pairing state is realized in this parameter region, uh, we can show that this system becomes a topological superconductor. And originally, the, uh, we proposed this idea in two dimensional system, uh, but uh, uh, they generalized this idea to the, uh, the one dimensional systems. And they show that uh, under the same conditions, this system becomes the topological superconductors. And uh, this uh, nano wire uh, supports the uh, gapless, gapless end state, uh, the evidence of the topological superconductor. Actually, the corresponding experiment has been done, and uh, under the uh, Zeeman field, there appears some signal consistent with the presence of the Myra filaments. So we can say that uh, topological phases uh, now has been. Uh, successfully established uh, by the uh, experimental data. So now I'd like to emphasize that uh, to obtain such topological phases, uh, symmetry is very important. Actually, the, uh, to realize the topological insulators, time reversal symmetry is very, imp uh, imp very important. Here I consider the uh, edge state for the two-dimensional topological insulators. Because of the time reversal symmetry, uh, these two uh, states uh, form the Kramer spheres. So because of this property, we, we can say that there is no backscattering uh, between them, even in the presence of the disorders. So we can say that uh, we have a topological stable edge state because of the pre because of presence of the time reversal symmetry. And we can also <coughs> say that uh, uh, particle symmetry is very important to realize the topological superconductors. Uh, part particle symmetry is an uh, interesting symmetry for the superconductors, and this is nothing but the charge conjugation symmetries. And because of this charge conjugation symmetry, we may host a uh, Myra fermion in the superconductors. So particle symmetry is also very important. Actually, as soon as after the discovery of the uh, integer quantum hole state, Abro and the collaborator uh, tried to classify the possible topological phases without assuming any symmetries. 
And, but uh, he, they found that uh, up to three dimensions, only integer quantum whole state is possible. However, uh, if you take an, uh, into account uh, uh, time reversal symmetry and the particle symmetry and their combined symmetry, so-called chiral symmetries, uh, we can extend uh, this table like this one. So we have a nice topological periodic table, and we have a, a new topological phase. So taking into account uh, symmetry is very important to obtain the uh, topological phases. And uh, it, it has been known that topological uh, table is quite a nice table. However, uh, we also say that uh, uh, this is uh, just a starting point. Actually, if you consider the real materials, uh, we have uh, crystal structures. So we may have uh, crystal symmetries. Actually, uh, indeed, indeed uh, by taking into account the crystal symmetry, uh, we can obtain a huge number of new topological phases. Uh, here I show the list of the topology numbers for three-dimensional material with uh, uh, 2,230 uh, space groups. And uh, correspond to the different uh, space groups, we may have a uh, uh, huge number of the topological numbers. And actually, uh, this list is, uh, is up to the uh, 46 uh, space groups. And uh, this is a list for up to the uh, uh, 53 uh, space groups. And uh, this is a uh, uh, table for the up to the uh, 70, 70 plus, uh, space groups. So as you know, the, uh, we have a uh, oh so. <laughs> Uh, this one uh, in, in the archive, so the, you 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 can you can search the Shiozaki and the Sato and go. So 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 we have uh, uh, this uh, table up to the up to uh, seventy first uh, space groups, uh, but uh, but you know that uh, so that we have uh, uh, twenty hundred thirty space groups, so this means that uh, it is not complete. And actually, uh, we need another five pages to, to list up the uh, possible topology numbers under the uh, space group symmetries. So anyway, uh, by imposing the, uh, this kind of symmetries, we can obtain the rich structure of topological phases. So symmetry is very important to obtain the uh, topological phases. So now I, I, I like to ask the following questions. As I mentioned before, if you take into account the uh, crystal symmetry, uh, we may have a rich structure of the topological number. So we may ask the uh, following questions. Is there another way to obtain a new topological phase? Of course, the answer is yes. And actually, the non harm city uh, open a new direction in topological phases. So now I'd like to explain the why no Hamilton system enriches the uh, topological phases. The key property is the following. For no Hamilton Hamiltonians, uh, you know the uh, chiral uh, complex conjugate and the transports are different. Actually, the, for no Hamilton Hamiltonians, uh, we can say that the uh, uh, element conjugate of the Hamiltonian is not the same as the original Hamiltonians. So by taking the transpose of the, uh, these relations, we have uh, these relations. So the complex conjugate is not the same as the uh, transpose. So this is a very small change of the uh, symmetries. However, uh, we find that this small change gives a crucial difference in the symmetry considerations. So now I'd like to, ask, uh, ask, uh, I'd like to explain the basic symmetry in non Hamishan Hamiltonians. Now we focus on the uh, uh, time reversal symmetry and the particle symmetries. Actually, the G symmetry is a fundamental symmetry for topology, since they are robust against disorders. Actually, these two symmetries uh, does not depend on the, any particular <coughs> crystal structure of the system, so that so the we can keep uh, this kind of uh, symmetries uh, even in the presence of the disorders. So these two symmetries are fundamental symmetry for topology. And we also find that uh, for non-Hamish Hamiltonians, 
both symmetry uh, can be given as an anti eta symmetry. However, uh, if you consider the non Hamiltonian Hamiltonians, particle symmetry uh, cannot be given as an anti eta symmetry. So to see these properties, uh, let's consider the BGG Hamiltonians. Uh, this is the basic Hamiltonian of the uh, superconductors. In the case of the superconductors, we have a Cooper pair, so the electron and the hole can mix. So the Hamiltonian is given as a combination of the uh, electron and the holes. So this is so-called number space. And this number space is this particular property, properties. Actually, by applying the tau x uh, here, so we can exchange the uh, uh, electron and the hole. And by using this property, we can rely this equation like this one. And uh, at the same time, we can exchange uh, this uh, column vector with uh, uh, these row vectors. Since C dagger and C uh, obey the uh, Fermi statistics, we have additional minus sign here if you, if after the uh, exchange of these two uh, vectors. So we find that this first line is the same as the third line. And this means that uh, this part and this part should be the same. So we have this kind of particle symmetry. So from this, uh, from this derivation, we find that uh, in the particle symmetry, we naturally have the transpose in the right-hand side. And in the case of the Hamilton Hamiltonians, uh, we can replace this uh, transpose with uh, complex conjugations. However, in the case of non hamiltonian systems, we cannot, uh, this, this two, <coughs> uh, this transpose uh, is not the same as uh, charge conjug uh, complex conjugations. So we can conclude that uh, particle symmetry is not the anti neutral symmetry. Uh, from these uh, uh, basic properties, uh, we can conclude that uh, fundamental symmetry uh, should, should change accordingly. Actually, the, in the case of the Hamilton Hamiltonians, we have uh, three fundamental symmetries. First one is the time reversal symmetries and the particle symmetries. And we also have a chiral symmetry, which is obtained by the combination of the time reversal symmetry and the particle symmetry. And uh, if you, consider, if you uh, <coughs> write the uh, time reversal operator as a combination of the disunitary operators and uh, charge conjugation, we have these relations. And we also have these relations. However, if you consider the non hamilton systems, uh, these relations are changed like this one. We can keep the time reversal symmetry, and we can keep the same relation for the time reversal symmetry and the chiral symmetries. However, in the case of the particle symmetries, uh, charge conjug uh, complex conjugation uh, should be replaced by the transpose. So we have a different uh, symmetry in uh, non hamiltonian systems. And we can also have uh, another uh, different uh, symmetries. Actually, the, uh, in the case of the Hamilton systems, this chiral symmetry uh, can be obtained by the combination of the time reversal symmetry and the particle symmetry. So from this relation, we can have uh, this one, and this one also satisfies these relations. However, if you consider the non hamiltonian systems, uh, particle sy symmetry uh, chain like this one. So accordingly, uh, we have uh, these symmetries. So in this case, uh, we have a uh, uh, Hermit conjugate of the Hamiltonian in the right hand side. So, in the case of the non Hamiltonian systems, we have uh, four fundamental symmetries, different from uh, three fundamental symmetry in the Hamiltonian systems. And uh, following the, uh, so we have a, a new types of symmetry in the non Hamiltonian systems. And following the, uh, uh, following the work by the uh, Ber Bernard uh, Ruquea, uh, who discussed this kind of symmetry for the first time, I denote this symmetry as a K symmetry and the C symmetry and the P symmetry, Q symmetry, or Q symmetry. In the following, we use this terminology. But uh, just, uh, just, uh, they, they are just a realization of these symmetries in non Hamilton systems. So now consider the uh, symmetric classes. 
Actually, the take into account these new types of symmetries, uh, we can obtain extended fundamental symmetry classes in non Hamiltonian systems. In the case of the Hamiltonian cases, uh, by combining time reversal symmetry and the particle symmetry and the chiral symmetry, we have uh, 10 different edge classes, uh, 10 different classes, which is called the uh, Outland Outer uh 10 classes. However, in the case of the non Hamiltonian systems, we have uh, four fundamental symmetries. So, correspondingly, we can extend uh, the symmetry classes. So, actually, uh, we, we can obtain the 43 classes. And uh, so, we have uh, this kind of classes, a family of classes. Actually, the, uh, the, if you consider the P symmetry, and we have uh, two classes. And if you consider the combination of the C symmetry and the P symmetry, we have eight classes and so on. So we have a, a family of symmetric classes. Actually, we found that uh, this family of the classes uh, contain the uh, new symmetry in the non hamilton systems. How many of them are unitary symmetries? Hmm? How many of them are unitary and anti-unitary out of 43? So, so uh, as I mentioned before, the only these two symmetry, uh, this, yeah. this symmetry is anti symmetry. And uh, this is not uh, anti symmetry, and this is not. And uh, this is a kind of anti symmetry, but the definition is different. So some of them don't have any Hermitian counterpart, right? Yeah, yeah. So suppose if I introduce a perturbation parameter from Hermeticity to non-Hermeticity, so you don't have that kind of transition for certain cases, right? So, yeah. uh, in some cases, uh, we, we, we have, so in some cases, uh, we can uh, connect the uh, chiral symmetry to this one because, uh, so, so this one, this one comes from this, uh, no Hamishan generalization of these equations. So that we can relate these two by the path mm -hmm. observations. So oh, anyway, uh, we have uh, 43 cases, and uh, this uh, family of the classes uh, contains a uh, uh, new symmetry in the non hamiltonian systems. So we, we may say that uh, this uh, family of the classes is intrinsic to the non hamiltonian Hamiltonians. So we can expect a new topological pages in these, uh, these classes. Oh, this, this one? This one is, uh, uh, maybe this one. But now they look very hard. And, uh, and after is, uh, in the remaining uh, time, I will show that uh, this uh, new family of the symmetry classes indeed may host uh, new topological pages interesting to no harm Hamiltonians. And we consider two different uh, uh, new topological phases in uh, non Hamish Hamiltonians. First, I consider the Q symmetric, uh, pro Q symmetric protected topological phases. And uh, in this case, uh, uh, we found that because of the Q symmetry, we have a new topological phase. At the modern Hamiltonian, uh, we consider graphene with uh, non Hamish on site potential. And uh, the second example, we also consider the C plus Q symmetric protected topological phases. And uh, uh, the model Hamiltonian, we consider so called SO32 uh, latent model. And uh, now I'll explain uh, these two examples. Excuse me. Uh, all the uh, 43 symmetry classes are for the non interacting, non admission Hamiltonians? Uh, so I, I assume that uh, so the uh, we don't have any interactions. So we only consider the uh, matrix as the Hamiltonians. So there is, no, uh, there is no class prepared for the interacting Hamiltonians? So uh, I'm not so sure, and so the, uh, I only uh, know the uh, non-interacting uh, cases. Thank you. <coughs> so first I'd like to consider the q symmetry protected topological phases. So we assume that uh, this symmetry, this is a Q symmetry. So the H is, is related to the H tag. Uh, so this is a very simple uh, relation. However, uh, from this symmetry, uh, we can find that the spectrum of the system has a unique features which enable us to obtain the topological stability. 
And to see this property, uh, let's consider the Schrodinger equation for these systems. Actually, now we consider the uh, non Hamiltonian Hamiltonians, so we have uh, two different uh, Schrodinger equations. Schrodinger equation for the original Hamiltonians and the Schrodinger equation for the uh, Hermit <coughs> conjugate of the Hamiltonians. And now we use the Q symmetries. Because of the Q symmetries, the second equation can be relied on like this one. So we found that uh, gamma UN also satisfies the Schrodinger equations. And this state has a, a eigenstate with a minus C and star. And this means that uh, we have a two different eigenstates of the original Hamiltonians. And we find the following properties. And uh, if, you, if you assume that this energy spectrum has a non-zero real part, so it told that this energy and this energy are different. So this means that uh, UN and gamma UN are different eigenstate, so they are independent. So if you if we say that uh, this condition has a uh, gapped state, so we can say that we have a pair of the gapped state in this case. On the other hand, uh, if we assume that uh, uh, this energy has a uh, the zero real part, so in this case, uh, this En and minus En star uh, is the same, and actually we can show that uh, they are not independent and they are actually related to each other. So in this case, uh, we can obtain the isolated uh, zero mode. Uh, this zero implies that this condition. So we have uh, this uh, basic property of the spectrum. A gap means that uh, uh, finite energy of the real part. Yeah, yeah. So in this case, we have a, a positive, positive real part and a negative real part. This because of this this property. So this means that we have a gap. So, so maybe, maybe so the uh, it's better to show the next slide. Actually, yeah, from this property, we have two different pattern spectrums. And the first one is the uh, following. So if the system doesn't have uh, any zero modes here, we have uh, this kind of uh, pattern with the spectrum. In this case, we have a gap between the positive and the negative energies, energy of the real part. And uh, from this, uh, so in this case, we, we also have a paired state. So this means that we, have, we always have an even number of states. On the other hand, uh, if there exists a zero mode, we have uh, different situations. In this case, we, we have isolated zero mode, which is not paired. So this means that uh, we have an uh, odd number of states. So apparently, that this means that uh, uh, these two states are not adiabatically connected to each other. So this means that uh, once we have uh, these situations, so we can keep the stable zero energy. And actually, if we find that, if you consider the boundary of the uh, topological phases, so we, we can realize these situations. So because of this, uh, these structures, uh, we can say that we may obtain the topological stable zero mode in a, a topological, uh, topological phase. And to confirm this idea, uh, we consider the uh, following models. And actually, the, uh, we consider the graph M with a non Hamiltonian on site potentials. So we consider the Hamiltonian lattice model, Hamiltonian lattice, and consider the tight binding model. However, different from the usual uh, graph N, we have a non Hamiltonian on site potential here. So we have a non Hamiltonian uh, system. And in the momentum space, uh, this Hamiltonian can be relied on this one, and D is given by this one. And actually, we found that uh, this spectrum uh, satisfies this relation. Uh, this Hamiltonian satisfies this relation. So we have a QC. 
So now we show that the uh, uh, spectrum with the boundary. So in the absence of the, this uh, non hamsha parameters, uh, this system supports the uh, edge state as uh, the uh, usual, uh, uh, usual graphens. However, even in the presence of the non hamsha parameters, we can keep this zero energy state. And actually, we find that uh, these states are uh, uh, local on the boundary. So this means that we can obtain the uh, no topological phases even in the uh, non Hampshire systems. Yeah, I should mention that uh, uh, so there is a very important property of this uh, non Hampshire topological phase. Actually, in the ordinary topological phases, phases uh, this non Hampshire topological phase has an edge state with the imaginary part of the spectrum. Uh, here I show the real part of the spectrum again, and we have a general edge state in the real part, and this corresponds to the edge mode. And finite, finite, finite lifetime. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, flat line. Different value of the uh, momentum. Yeah, yeah. And uh, so yeah, here I show the imaginary part of the energy spectrum. Actually, the uh, edge state uh, has a non zero imaginary part. So we can say that uh, we may have an edge state even in the non Hampshire systems, but uh, this edge state has a non zero imaginary part. So, in the remaining time, I would like to explain the uh, C plus Q symmetric property topology of edges. In this case, we consider the C symmetry and the Q symmetry. Uh, this look, uh, looks rather complicated, uh, but uh, uh, if, we, if we multiply the edge by imaginary unit i and consider the combination between the, this C symmetry and the Q symmetry, we have these kind of relations. And then finally, if you can define the uh, time reversal operator, uh, the combination of the UT times the uh, complex conjugations, then this relation gives uh, these two relations. So we have a t squared equal to one time reversal symmetry, and we have a, a should harmonic conditions. So we consider this kind of st uh, structures. And interestingly, uh, due to uh, the additional should harmonic of the systems, uh, we can find that this t squared equal to one time reversal symmetry uh, gives a kind of uh, chroma spread. In usual, uh, no, uh, usual Hamilton systems, uh, we need that t squared equal to minus one uh, to obtain the chromatic energy. Uh, but uh, in this case, because of this additional should Hamilton we have a uh, chromatic energy even in the t squared equal to one time reverse symmetry. And actually, to see this property, let's consider the Schrodinger equation again. And uh, from the should Hamilton uh, the second equation. Uh, uh, can be given as this one. And uh, by applying the time reversal symmetry uh, from the left, we can rely this one, uh, rely this equation to, into this one. So we find that gamma phi, phi n and t gamma phi n have the si same energy. And we also find that if you consider the uh, inner product of these, uh, these states, like this one, uh, we can show that uh, this becomes zero. Actually, by using the anti-utility anti of the time reversal operators, we can write this equation into this one. And by using the t square q one relations, we can delete this t square part. And uh, if you take a, a joint of the gamma, we can move this gamma into this uh, gamma dagger. Then we can use uh, this uh, uh, Hamilton condition of the gamma operators. And then finally, if you consider the anti commutation ratio in the T and gamma, we have a minus sign here. So this inner product is the uh, same as a minus the inner product. So this means that uh, this product should be zero. 
So this means that uh, this state and this state are orthogonal in the sense of the non-Hamiltonians. Hamiltonian so uh, we have, so they are independent. So we can conclude that we have an independent uh, state with the same energy. So that this is nothing but a gamma square for the t square equal to one time reverse asymmetry. So we, so, so this means implies that we may have a possible new mechanism with a topological stability. So now I'd like to explain the, this last slide very quickly. And actually that this expect, expectation can be confirmed by using this model Hamiltonians. So now uh, I don't explain any detail of this Hamiltonian, but we have a no Hamiltonian term here. And we also have a, we, also, we can also find that this system supports the T square equal to one time reverse asymmetry and the shoulder Hamiltonian. And this is a spectrum of the system with a boundary. And actually the way we found that uh, we have a gapless state with the imaginary part of the spectrum. So we, ha we can obtain the non Hamiltonian topological phase. And actually, the, we can show that by, uh, by using the chroma uh, uh, sheet, we can define the uh, churn numbers even in the presence of the, uh, uh, of the time reverse asymmetries. Okay, let me summarize my talk. Uh, to obtain topological phases, uh, symmetry is very important. And uh, particle symmetry is not anti neutral symmetry for non Hamiltonian, Hamiltonian, which change the basic set of the symmetry relevant to topology. And uh, the change of the basic set of topology uh, makes it possible to obtain new topological phases in tracing to uh, non Hamiltonian systems. Thank you very much for your attention. Well, we have time to time for one or two short questions. Hello. Uh, so, uh, for non-zero winding numbers, it gives some kind of stability. But in your case, the energy eigenvalues are also complex. So, under time evolution, how do you, uh, this should not be stable uh, configurations, right? So to, uh, to stabilize uh, this configuration, so the actually the, so the, uh, in some expand, uh, expand situation, we can realize this kind of uh, edge uh, state. However, to stabilize this uh, uh, system, uh, we, need, uh, we need some gain to stabilize the systems. Okay, so that the combined system is uh, Hermitian, I mean, uh, eigen, uh, only real eigen, eigenvalues or? Yeah, yeah, so the, for example, the, in the case, so the, if you consider this, we may have a, a real, a real spectrums. However, in the presence of the uh, boundaries, uh, P symmetry is always broken. So the, we, we can the imaginary part of the edge state in the uh, non Hermitian uh, topological phases, always. We don't have time for, yeah. Duncan, um, please. Okay, so. So this, these non hermitian terms you're adding are somehow an effective description yeah. where you're not treating one part of the system. So there's going to be fluctuations that are going to be associated with these which might cause transitions between your states. Would, would these spoil your topological properties if you have transitions? I mean, are the states still going to be protected? So, uh, I mean, is there a limit to, to the uh, degree of non-hermeticity you, you can allow? Uh, 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 I don't catch your questions. So. Well, your, your, your non-hermitian Hamiltonian describes some dissipation or, or something like this. And in, in reality, there's going to be fluctuations associated with that, according to the fluctuation dissipation theorem. Yeah, yeah. And this can allow... So your levels are going to, you know, this is going to allow some transitions between your, your levels. So I'm wondering if they're still going to be topologically protected under those transitions. Yeah, uh, it is an interesting question, but uh, uh, I don't have uh, any different answers. Okay. I'm sorry. Okay, I think other questions we will have to leave for the lunch time. Sorry, we don't have much time. And okay, so let's thank uh, Professor Sato for a very enlightening talk on and taking us from 10 to 43 cemeteries. Thank you very much.